Yeah. How is uh, camp going so far? Pretty good. We're just uh, chugging away at it. Um, you know, we're hitting every day hard. Um, we're really just emphasizing, you know, effort, you know, communication, attention to detail. So it's been pretty good. Um, I like what I'm seeing out there and everybody's just working hard. Uh, how's the impl implementation of the new defense going? Pretty good. Um, you know, we're just focusing on watching our film um, since we're installing a lot of different looks. Um, and just really taking it slow. We're not trying to rush into things. Uh, we're focused on being de detail oriented this time because we have, like, like we said, extended camp period time. So we're not trying to rush looks. Do you notice a difference now that the duties are split up between Coach Norwood and Coach Whitfield? Do you notice any extra time as far as just individual attention in that? Sort yeah, of thing? well, we're just able to slow stuff down, like you said. Um, last year, we had like eight, anywhere from 18 to 20 people in a room at a time, and one, twos, and threes. So when you're trying to coach those many people up, you can't really go into the subtleties. You can't slow it down. You kind of have to, you know, be broad and make sure every, you might, you might not see your specific rep on the film. So this time you get to slow it down and see your reps and your steps and everything like that. Uh, Duncan Moore has come into this year with like so much confidence and like kind of a swagger about him. So is there anybody on the defense that kind of has that same like confidence, swagger type of thing? Um, I would say the whole secondary because I'm a DB, but uh, to be specific, I would say linebackers uh, with Coach Ken Norton, what he does, he breeds confidence. Um, you know, Darius, Che, um, Kay Madrano, all that, uh, Ale Cajo, that whole room, they really just, they're the alpha dogs, the big communicators out there, so. Is that an attitude that you like to see from freshmen right off the bat, or do you like, right off the bat, or do you like to kind of, like, bring them in once in a while? It's good to see confident freshmen because, you know, they're not, like, tiptoeing out there. You're hitting it full-fledged, and even they're making mistakes, you know. You could go back on film and correct that, but always being confident and putting the effort in is a big first step. You see that with that receiver group, uh, just going against them every day, uh, especially like Jay Mike and Kyle Ford. I would say definitely say high motor guys, um, speed. They're always giving us work every day. Um, you know, you can't sleep on them. You always have to have your eyes in the right place. You know, uh, bend your knees and. They could take you up top any given play. So I like what I'm seeing out the wide receiver room. Looking pretty good. You mentioned uh, Ale a little, little while ago, uh, him you know back out doing individual stuff. What was it like just to see him you know doing individual drills and, and ramping up his particip participation? It's definitely inspirational because he's came a long way. He's had some injuries along the line, and you know he's a great guy and he's somebody like we're pulling for, and we're gonna happy be happy to have him back this season. And you know, to have anybody back in the unit will make us stronger. So we're just looking looking forward to that. How much of an emphasis is cross training in the DB room, like being able to play multiple positions? Yeah. Like what are you comfortable doing? Yeah, so it's always good to be a hybrid because you know on defense we want to do a whole bunch of different looks. You know, it's not like just old school, you know, lineup just hit people. You know, we're in the Pac-12, people are passing, play action, run the ball. So it's important to have, you know, an extended skill set. Um, you know, I like to play everything because at the next level, you know, they're looking for man coverage, safety, zones coverage, safety, and you have to tackle. So I would say those three points. Who's the guy that you just like love going up against in practice? Um, really everybody, but I would say like as far as slots, uh, Logan Loya, Titus, um, Cam Brown, um, pretty much all the guys that are just shifty, quick, make me move my feet, um, and just high motor guys. I like going against competitors. Our whole wide receiver room competitive. What was your reaction to all the crazy Pac-12 dissolving stuff that happened at the end of last week? I mean, we're focused on fall camp right now, so we haven't really um, put too much focus towards that. But my personal opinion, um, you know, we just have to go to the verse most competitive at. And, you know, it's just crazy. I don't really know why everybody's moving conferences. But, you know, wherever the biggest games and the most, like, televised games are at, you know, it's good to be a part of that because more eyes on us, the better. If you were putting yourself back in the shoes of yourself as like a high school recruit, is, would, would that have been a major factor for you? Like, where am I going to play my games? It's a small factor. I'm going to say major factor. Really more uh, coaching staff and, you know, committing to university where you get a good degree. You know, some of the things I personally looked at. With your defensive coordinator, you know, having experience as a safeties coach, have you been able to pick his brain at all? And has he been able to, uh, I guess, make a difference uh, in his short time here so far? It's huge. He's savvy. Um, he teaches, like, some of the subtleties, um, how you can disguise certain looks, line up in certain looks, get out of certain looks. 
um, it really helps just to talk to him one-on-one -on -one because he's been in the NFL, you know, defensive back room. So if you're just, uh, if you want a different perspective outside of a corners coach or a DB's coach, you can go talk to him. So that's, that's pretty huge just because he has that pedigree behind him. What was your recruiting process like in high school? Um, so I took official visits to Cal, Washington State, here, and I think Oregon State. Um, I committed here like later on in my high school career, probably around championship. I went to modern day and we were like went to the championship, so around there. And I early enrolled shortly after that. How has the recruiting process kind of changed in your eyes? I mean now there's so many things to factor in at college, like what conference you'll be in, like NIL deals, things mm -hmm. like that. Um, you really just have to see what what platform can get you to the NFL. Do you have good strength coaches? Do you have coaches who love and care about you? Um, do you even have a DB coach that like you guys see eye to eye? Those are all things to look. Of course, you want to be in like one of the bigger conferences, of course. But I would at least say, who are you working with on a day to day basis? That's gonna make you be a better person. That's something to look at. As a modern day guy, do you go back and forth with those Bosco uh, guys on of the team? Of course, of course. It's always competitive here. Um, me, Jalen Davies, you know, we're always going back and forth, and it's a big sense of pride because we have two national championships, and there's some guys now on our team younger guys that have two national championships as well. So it's always competitive. You know, there's banter back and forth uh, when we play each other in the playoffs. So this is good. Thank Appreciate you. It.